Hello YouTube, just another quick video here in between the raindrops. Of course it's rained just about every day in the last since I made the last video. Um little update on the Pontimino. Don't know if to call it a Sunchero or what I should call it, but Pontimino is what's gonna get now. Sunchero would be cool too, because it's a sunbird and it looks like a ranchero kind of. So I did a bad thing. Last Sunday night, I decided to uh, hurry up and finish welding this one side up, and it puckered the side pretty good. Nothing little Bondo won't help, won't uh, fix, but it's just going to be a lot more body work. I got one pucker I just made in the other side too, welding the inside of the box to that reinforcing rod I had welded in there. Well. Evidently that reinforcing's got some twisting action in it when it gets hot. Evidently I got it too hot, so I buckled the sides in. Nothing a little bondo won't fix. It's pretty much gonna have to have a thin coat of bondo on it to level everything off anyway. You just have to see how good I am at bondoing. I've never done any full sides or anything, but I'm sure it'll work out. So here we go. Little show. Hang in there. It's kind of coming together like I planned anyway. I got these fillers put in here for the windows. Got a seal on there. Got it sealed up to the top so when you take the top off or so when it rains it won't run water in there. The door works pretty good. Sealed all around the window. And I had the back window hole cut too big. Well, in the last video, I never told nobody that, but it was. I was just in a hurry. So I spent some time, filled that hole in, got the window fitting nice and tight. Now she's good to go on that part. Got the box sides in. Now all I've got to do is take care of the tailgate and the floor, I guess, and the body work, body work and the paint job. I got this one side rail mounted all on. So that's permanent now. Well, it ain't permanent permanent because I got to take it off to do the body work, but she's all welded and mounted. You can shake the truck with her. She's good to go. Oh, her shaky video if I've ever seen one. And these lines that I thought were straight on down this fender wall that I was going to mount the bedsides to, it wasn't quite perfectly straight. So we started there and we got it in and we couldn't get the back to fit. The back was over here probably. So I had to clamp that in there, bend this ledge on this box side, or on the fender well, bend that all in so that kind of flared it all in at a curve now. Box has got a little bit of a flare in here. But it's better than not working at all. Of course it's got to be another cloudy day. A little bit of patching here and there on the inside of the box. I uh, drilled these two holes in here. There's one over there too. Trying to stick a bar in there and hit my ripples out. So I made a big mark here. And here. But I did get the ripple out pretty good. Take a lot less putty that way. So that's why them two holes are in there. I don't know how well you can see them ripples in the video, but she's got some ripples down the side. I just hope I can get them puttied over. The back of the cab is all welded up and ground in, ground down. 
And so like I say, you got the floor and the tailgate. I'm gonna go get that and stick it on here. And you can see the ripples down this side a little bit too. She'll be having some bondo in her. Here's a seal on the door on this side. That turned out pretty good. The door shuts pretty good. So the inside of the cab is pretty much sealed up now. I'm going to grab that tailgate. Put that in there for people who don't know what that's going to look like. Here's a rat rod getting it guarded from all the grinding dust. Little flathead hanging in there. I got the mounts for this bed rail made, I just don't have them welded on there. I just finished grinding, welding that side on and grinding it off. And that's when the pucker popped in there. When I finished the last two inches of it, it went pop. Hang in there, set the tailgate on. I have to get that all framed in too. So there you go. No more gaping hole along the fenders. She's got sides, no. Damn gnats have been eating me alive. They're flying all over me. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That box don't look too bad. See my camera's flashing around. I hope it ain't screwing up the video. I ain't gonna take the top off because it's raining out and anybody that's following my videos knows what it looks like with the top off I'm gonna put a door around where the spare tire goes get at the spare tire and a door to access all this wasted space under the floor Probably too dark to even show up very good. Hitting raindrops all over my camera. And that's what she's going to be. I got one more thing I want to show everybody. Ask them what they think. I got this 1938 Chevrolet hood ornament It's a bird It looks kind of neat And this is a sunbird So it should have a bird on it But if you put him on the hood he slants too far down and he's flying down the ground So, I discovered it's got the right curve for the roof up here. It's 
So maybe that bird is going to sit on the roof. I don't know if that'll look too grotesque or not. It's a little crooked now. But I think that's kind of a cool little idea. Or a cool little bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is. Probably a falcon or something. I didn't know Chevrolet had birds but for hood ornaments, but I found it on the internet. It's a 1938 Chevrolet. Be nice to have a Pontiac hood ornament on there. I had a 28 Pontiac hood ornament I bought at a flea market for 10 bucks and I sold that for probably a hundred and I think the guy I sold it to put it on eBay and it went for 450 so I'm 28 Pontiac hood ornaments it's an Indian head with a chrome or a brass colored face and his hair is waving in the breeze it's kind of a neat one it went on a radiator cap So I thought I'd just do a little update between the raindrops. Let me know what you think. Nat's biting me in the nose. So long for now. One last little peek. There's the underteller. Here's my semi. Had that fired up the other day for the first time. Turned over about, or not the first time, first time this year. Turned over about two rounds and away she went. I couldn't believe it. The batteries didn't even need to be charged. I have to get that on the road one of these days and take her to some shows. But everything costs money. Well, so long for now, guys. Dan F. Howe saying, keep on keeping.